the top 10 future car technologies which are being developed. At number 10, heads up displays. Projection HUD technology has been around for some time, but it will likely be incorporated into the windshield in the near future. Real-time navigation will highlight turns, stops, and even your favorite restaurant, so it's kind of like Google Glass. The optical technology allows full-color, transparent images to, to be displayed on top of normal sight. And if you really can't wait for the windshield built-in HUD system, you can pre-order the NavD, which is a projection technology. That's number 9, Biometric Access. Okay, so I'll admit, there have been a few dreadful work days where I'd be looking for my lost car keys. Future cars will likely contain a biometric database which will identify who you are and whether to let you use the car or not. There have been basic biometric sensors already on the market, but we'll likely see iris or even voice print sensors built into new cars. Now I just have to add this for my apartment, and I'll never have to go on the hunt for keys again. At number 8, the Hydrogen Fuel Cell. Toyota's just released the Mirai fuel cell hydrogen car and by 2020 over 100 hydrogen fuel stations will be developed in the state of California. Okay, so the one major drawback is that hydrogen fuel is really inefficient to produce when compared to battery powered vehicles. But just recently the great Monash University has found a way to double the efficiency for solar powered hydrogen production. So that's really good news if you buy an off grid solar hydrogen production unit for your house because you can instantly fuel your vehicle within seconds and not minutes like the battery powered vehicles. At number 7, nano wire capacitors. Capacitors can instantly recharge and discharge, but the one drawback is that they can only hold a fraction of electrical energy when compared to conventional batteries. MIT University is already developing nanowire capacitors which can up to 50% of a normal battery's energy in equal size. If this technology really becomes available, there will virtually be no waiting time for recharging electrical cars. Nanowire capacitors can also be used in the gadget industry and instantly charge your phone or tablet. At number 6, the invisible car. There are a couple approaches to an invisible car, but the Tachi Lab in Japan have created a projection system which allows the driver to see right through the car's structure and paneling. It works far better than a conventional projector since it tracks movements and displays directly to the observer's eyes. With the combination of multiple cameras, drivers can have a 360 degree view around the car, and the technology is not just limited to cars, but it can also be used in airplanes and trains for panoramic views. Another type of invisible car has been built by Mercedes, and it uses LED lighting with cameras to make the car somewhat appear invisible to the outside viewer. At number 5, a real flying car. One of the best flying concept cars in development is the Terrafugia TF-X. It is based on a vertical takeoff and landing platform, so you won't need any runways. It'll have a non-stop flight range of over 500 miles and be able to switch between manual or automatic flight mode. The TF-X will likely be released in 8 years. At number 4, a fully automated car. There would be no more speeding tickets, drunk driving, or infuriated road rage because somebody else cut you off. Google already has a working fully automated prototype vehicle and there are plans to sell more automated vehicles around 2020. The car's software predicts outside movements and correctly chooses a safe speed or even yield to pedestrians. The prototype car already has a near perfect traffic record with autonomous driving and anyone can view their updated monthly reports. There are a few companies designing autonomous cars and by 2040 there are predictions that 70% of vehicles will be autonomous. So I'll just have to make sure that my car does not go evil AI and try to kill me. At number 3, Quantum Levitated Hover Cars. One of the main challenges of superconductors is you have to cool it to extreme temperatures in order to levitate it over a magnetic field. But researchers are already discovering materials which can superconduct at warmer temperatures and it's very likely there will be a room superconductive material in the near future. So what does this all mean? Well basically it would allow a vehicle to float over a magnetic track with little resistance. Another thing you can build is a superconductor motor which is a high efficient and lightweight electrical motor and it basically translates into faster cars but we just do not know the potential of room superconductive materials. At number two, smart memory polymer seating. I'm sure you've gone into your car only to find somebody has tampered with your seat controls and you'll have to spend that extra time just to get it right again. But with smart polymers, the original seating could be programmed in every square inch for one type of driver after they biometrically access the car, of course. So it's kind of like a really advanced controllable seat which adheres to your body. This is really my own prediction on which smart materials can be applied to, but they can be changed by stress, temperature, moisture, electric, or even magnetic fields. Researchers at multiple universities have already created these simple 4D objects which can change form into two different shapes. And this is really still far off from complex seating, but it's still a really cool technology. At number one, Claytronics. This technology is a bit similar to smart polymers, but it's far more advanced since it uses nanobots to create structures. 
They're often known as programmable materials and they work differently since they do computations by themselves without any input. My prediction is that you could probably morph your car into something unique through a neural link, so you might be able to change your car from a Pinto to a Ferrari. Nanobots might even be able to absorb vehicle collisions and collectively repair itself without causing any human injury. We are currently living in a technological era, and it's really exciting to see breakthroughs happening so quickly. Our world will be completely changed in 50 years, so I'm not sure to embrace it or just to go hide somewhere until it's all over. So once again, thanks for watching, like the video, and please subscribe to my channel.